So do we find uh, any human fossils? We do have human fossils, uh, but they're all in rocks that we think are post-flood in age, so after Noah's flood. In fact, quite, quite late after Noah's flood. They don't turn up until sort of late flood, uh, late, late post-flood. So uh, we have the fossils of things like Homo erectus and Neanderthals, and we think that these are all descendants of Adam, descendants of Noah. In fact, they were post-flood pioneers, probably uh, descendants of those that were spreading across the earth at, from, from the confusion of language at the Babel. So we do have those, but they're in a context where uh, they're, uh, they're found uh, in ca maybe cave uh, deposits, um, which are above the flood deposits. So they're, they're, they're living after the flood. When we look at the flood rocks, uh, we don't see any evidence there of, of human fossils. And this is a common question. Why uh, don't we find humans in, in the flood rocks? I, I think there's a broader uh, point here because when you actually look at the flood rocks, not only do we not have human fossils, but assuming that we've got the end of the flood right in the in the geological record where we where we think the end of the flood is we also don't have uh, any um, uh, mammals at least of modern kinds we have some very strange sort of um, extinct types of mammals very few if, if any um, birds uh, virtually no flowering plants we have some but not not many uh, those uh, fossil plants are dominated by other types of plants so when you begin to look at that, you think, well, we've got humans missing and most of the mammals and the birds and the flowering plants. That looks like a whole ecosystem. That's a, that's a whole biome. So for whatever reason, it looks as if from the flood rocks, there's a whole ecosystem missing. And it's a very interesting question, why? Because there are other ecosystems preserved. Why is this one not preserved? And it could be to do with the processes that happened during the flood. It could be that maybe this particular ecosystem was located right on top of one of these fountains of the Great Deep that broke open at the beginning of the flood, and so it got preferentially destroyed. Maybe even sucked down a subduction zone and, and ended up sort of being recycled in the Earth's interior, something as catastrophic as that. Or maybe if it was in an upland area of the pre-flood world, maybe it was one of the last ecosystems to be buried by the transgressing floodwaters as they sort of encroached onto the land. And if it was the last to be buried, then as the waters drained off the land at the end of the flood, maybe it was the, the first to be eroded away at the end of, of, of the flood. Uh, so there are various you know, possibilities as to why that particular biome wasn't preserved. I actually think there might be a clue in the book of Genesis because God's expressed purpose in the flood was to wipe mankind from the face of the earth. You know, he wanted to blot out mankind be because of his uh, wickedness and the, and the violence of the pre-flood world. And maybe God had a particular purpose in not allowing uh, pre-flood man even to be preserved, a kind of record of him in those flood rocks because he wanted to blot out the memory of that pre-flood uh, you know, wickedness from the face of the earth.